to bill allowing gun owners to carry concealed weapons in the nation's capital. The federal bill, known as the Second Amendment Enforcement Act, also laxes current restrictions on the purchase of firearms. Today's protesters included families of shooting victims and some members of the D.C. Council. Don't use us for bargaining chips while you're trying to run a campaign. Someplace else. Don't try to uh, step on our shoulders. Demonstrators are meeting with D.C. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton this afternoon, and they plan to meet with Senators John McCain and John Tester, who both support this legislation. All right, we switch gears now on a Wednesday to talk about the weather. It's just one of the nicer days we've had in a long time. Yeah, indeed it is. You know, it's comfortable and yeah. mild, but not uh, too sticky. That was the real problem the last couple of days with humidity, just because, well, it was too high, A, and B, too soon. Yeah, it's amazing what a difference just relieving the humidity yeah, can temperatures can will be about the same as they were yesterday. Yeah. It just feels a lot better. So enjoy it. The next couple of days not too bad. Perfect. It's a little cooler from Mother's Day, though, by the weekend. Take a look outside this uh, morning, I was going to say. This not afternoon, anymore. not morning anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Only 15 minutes past no, now. It's true. <laughs> now you can see the folks making their way across the bridge. A lot of traffic out there. Blue skies. High pressure overhead means that we are in a nice little setup for the for the next couple of days, although we have a few chances for rain. But as I've been alluding to earlier, we really are super duper dry out out there and we could use a good uh, shot of rain but our chances over the next couple days are slim as far as the rainfall uh, amounting to much if not anything as we go through the coming days and up towards the weekend 77 right now in Stafford 73 in Middletown Maryland 79 in Rockville downtown 77 I want to show you this morning we did have some 40s up in Stafford and Middletown and so we did have a cool start to the day but nice finish out there with those mild air building in a little system will approach the area by tomorrow as it passes it could trigger a shower or two a possibility but doesn't look like too big of a deal another system will come by the weekend that may bring a shower or two and that also will bring the cooler air for the weekend that'll take us back into the 60s just in time for Mother's Day. All right, let's look at the big picture here, and you can see where some of that cooler air is right now. Minneapolis at 50, meanwhile, Chicago, Chi Town 60, uh, upper 70s, near 80, down to the deep south, even near 70, up to Boston and New York. So, a pretty good uh, setup for the whole northeast corridor as we have a nice southerly wind bringing in the milder air, but humidity levels remain in check. And each one of these fronts that kind of slides through, like the one tomorrow, will keep us from getting too much humidity building as we head toward the end of the week. So, on the Cinco de Mayo, if you have any outdoor plans for the afternoon or evening, comfortable, low to mid 80s, just a great day, great evening evening. Temperature-wise tonight, uh, not going to be too sticky at all. It'll be cool, but not quite as cool as this morning, 50s and low 60s. And tomorrow, just that isolated shower chance. Same deal for early Saturday morning, but most of the weekend looking good. I will mention some gusty breezes Saturday. Highs falling through the 70s, Saturday, Mom's Day. Gorgeous sunshine, but 65. It'll feel like a little bit of a fall day, maybe, sure. for some, with the breezes in the 60s. But it'll be refreshing. Okay. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Brian, thank you so much. Well, in other uh, news now on a Wednesday, President Obama is getting closer to choosing his next Supreme Court nominee to replace retiring Justice John Paul Stevens. The Associated Press reports the president interviewed federal appeals court judge Diane Wood in the Oval Office on Tuesday. Wood is the fourth known candidate to get a White House interview, along with Solicitor General Elena Kagan and federal appeals court judges Merrick Garland and Sidney Thomas. Well, the president of Iran says he thinks Osama bin Laden is in Washington, D.C. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad sat down for an exclusive interview with ABC's Good Morning America, and he was asked about rumors that Osama bin Laden is living in Iran. If you did know that Osama bin Laden was in Tehran, would you show him hospitality? Would you expel him? Would you arrest him? I heard that Osama bin Laden is in Washington, D.C. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. He's there because he was a previous partner of Mr. Bush. They were colleagues, in fact, in the old days. You know that. They worked together. Mr. bin Laden never cooperated with Iran, but he cooperated with Mr. Bush. In that interview, Ahmadinejad also said Iran did not accept any new sanctions imposed because of its nuclear program, like those supported by President Obama. He said Iran will defend itself against any hostilities. And look at these clashes in the streets of Athens today. Tens of thousands of Greeks are protesting harsh new spending cuts aimed at saving that country from bankruptcy. Some protesters threw rocks at police who then responded with tear gas. Meantime, a massive strike has paralyzed that country, stopping all flights, all trains, and even ferries. The IMF and other countries as well are giving billions to try to keep Greece from toppling into financial ruin.
And still to come here on ABC7 News at noon, 7's on your side today with some...